game. The only time she came in contact with Steve Harvey is when she was crying backstage. So everybody in the whole on the whole fucking show did all these things. He didn't send out no motherfucking casting call. He didn't come and tell you what to wear. He didn't tell the fucking audience to hold up no goddamn sign. That's all the fucking team. But because the black man came and attempted to console you afterwards, this is what I'm taking my rap out on. If I find out that this is a black bitch, let me see what color this hoe is. Fuck that shit. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Welcome back to the Big Fat Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco, and this is Are You Serious? As in, I'm going to start the Men Too movement. Because at this point, with Steve Harvey being the latest victim of this shit, a lot of folks don't like Steve Harvey. They call him a coon and shit like that. And, and you know, they call him the industry's nigga and all that good shit like this. But, see, all that shit goes out the window. What we have to understand is... They're not targeting people that we don't fuck with as the down black people or conscious black people. They're targeting our leaders because to them, they think that Steve Harvey, Morgan Freeman, Bill Cosby, they they look at those people as our leaders. They're not so um, indoctrinated with our culture to where they know how we feel on a subconscious level. All they know is how it looks. You know what I'm saying? Steve Harvey is a big black man. Oh man, uh, he's an upstanding black man. Not someone who's, he's not a a rapper or no uh, drugged out actor, no shit like that. This is somebody they hold in high regard. The same thing I was telling y'all about Bill Cosby and Morgan Freeman. Now, as soon as I dropped the Morgan Freeman video, it can't even get uploaded well enough before they come out with a whole nother accusation. I want to tell you why I didn't look at the skin color of, hold on, before I go any further. Shout out to all the um, PayPal, AO Nation donators. I could not do this shit without y'all. I really appreciate all the love I've been getting. Uh, All my local artists who have been uh, working with um, what I give them. Uh, Understand, I don't mean any harm when I tell y'all we have to have our business together. I want y'all to be prepared to be professional. Um, just because I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm your brother or whatever like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on the same level as you all, but I can't allow you to go out here in the world and feel like everybody is just like me. You know what I'm saying? There are some people who are gonna, you know what I'm saying, fuck you the fuck over and you need to have your business where it needs to be at. So when I tell y'all to have your shit together when you holler at me, I'm trying to get you prepared. I'm, I'm whipping you into shape, it's tough love. You know what I'm saying? So. As y'all know, go to the Instagram, go to the Facebook Messenger if you want to talk about uh, promoting on the channel and shit like that. And I just appreciate everybody in AO Nation. I do this for y'all. I look at y'all like y'all, my family. Uh, y'all listen to me when I be talking to y'all. And this is real shit I'm trying to spit to y'all. I'm actually trying to get y'all to change a little bit of something inside of your mind. And I appreciate the support y'all give me. It's real talk right there. Now, let's get down to the real shit. Because I, I, I'm telling y'all that because if this is not... A sign of the times. If this doesn't wake you up, then I don't know what will. We're we're racing at this point. We just had another mass murder. We just had another school shooting. A senseless mass shooting. Um, And it would seem as they don't want it to look like they're the only... You know what I'm saying? They not gonna let one of their children be looked at as a criminal alone. They have to come over here on this side. So now you're getting laws passed. I haven't even did the video about this bullshit they got going on about this football shit. Now you can't take a knee. They changing laws. Changing laws about niggas. 
You got white boys shooting up school, but you ain't changing a motherfucking thing. I got a video that I want to do about stop and frisk. I, 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 I'm going to tell you a little bit about it right now. Stop and frisk was some shit they had in New York and shit like that where uh, crime was so bad that um they had the right to where if they just, if they suspected you to be, you know what I'm saying, a criminal and shit like that, they could just stop you right there with no kind of probable cause and pat you down with their own discretion. They can use their own, you know what I'm saying, discernment and say, yeah, yeah, I think he might got some on. And just, you know what I'm saying, rock out. If the crime with these fucking white boys, have they not shown that they're way more vicious and way more of a threat to life than niggas were back then? Why don't we start something like that for them where you can randomly just go in white boy's room and see what the fuck they doing? See what the fuck they watching? See what the fuck they got going on? Are they, are they um, uh, practicing building bombs? This motherfucker went in there with like smoke bombs or some type of whatever the frag grenades, whatever the fuck this nigga had. The, uh, the nigga Nicholas Cruz uh, pulled the fire alarm. They learning from each other. Pull the fire alarm when they come out, mow them the fuck down. Uh, smoke grenades so they can't defend themselves. If you can put a whole law up about stop and frisk, about um, taking a knee during a fucking football game, why the fuck can't you preserve life? Do some random shit with them. Why are we the only one that's... <clears throat> Let me go, Steve Harvey. Look, um, as far as it goes, I didn't look at the skin color of, of the girl or whatever like that because I don't give a fuck. The way the story was... Um, Told. I, I don't. I, that's not the point. Fuck what color she is. What happened is they put out a casting call. The casting call said strong woman, single, yada fucking yada, whatever like that. She came there um, with. Uh, she said she came there with long sleeves on and a pencil skirt. And the wardrobe people immediately said, "No, nah, we need you to put on something more seductive." And they gave her what she was gonna wear. At that point in time, she continued on, went on there. She said the audience had up signs about, the studio audience said uh, signs were whore, uh, slut, ratchet, and shit like that. They, and they did an audience poll or some shit like that. And she said she left, she had to go backstage and she was crying. And then Steve Harvey, went, she was crying when Steve Harvey approached her backstage when she was uh, changing into her clothes, her regular, back into her regular clothes. So now she's suing for uh, two million, no less than two million, uh, because she felt she felt sexually harassed. This is the case. This is the case. She felt sexually harassed. She's suing Steve Harvey. Wardrobe came up to her. The production, the producers put out a call for single women that you know saying uh, are. Are into their are into themselves, so they, they wanted arrogant women. Um, she answered the casting call. Wardrobe came. The only time she came in contact with Steve Harvey is when she was crying backstage. So everybody in the whole on the whole fucking show did all these things. He didn't send out no motherfucking casting call. He didn't come and tell you what to wear. He didn't tell the fucking audience to hold up no goddamn sign. That's all the fucking team. But because the black man came and attempted to console you afterwards, this is what I'm taking my rap out on. If I find out that this is a black bitch, let me see what color this hoe is. Fuck that shit. Let me see what color. Is this a black hoe at all? We finna have some issues. We finna have some issues. Where she at? That better not be her dog. See, this, this is bullshit, I don't like. Things that a woman brought on the show. Segment. Being sued by a former guest on his eponymous TV show, The Plaintiff, Dominique Collier. She's black. She's black. Lord Jesus. Ain't no white bitch named Dominique, dog. This whole black dog. Oh my God, the mm, mm, mm. So, <laughs> what's going on is how you hold fuzz, dog? Fuck that! 
How is you hoes for us? How many, who do we have on our side, black men? Who do we have on our side, black women? Please tell me something. Tell me something. We're being ambushed out here, getting thrown under the fucking bus. And what you're gonna do? Come, you see that they taking down Bill Cosby, they took down OJ, they took down Russell Simmons, they trying to take down Morgan Freeman. They took down, we got all this shit going on with, with Colin Kaepernick. We got this shit going on with that fat white hoe calling the police on a barbecue. And you got the fucking nerve to go on a nigga show with all this shit going on. You got the nerve to put a sexual harassment suit on Steve Harvey? Knowing that they're trying to destroy every good example we have of black men. You're going to help them? And then at the same time, go to the fucking rally, tell them I stop shooting us, don't shoot hands up. Don't shoot hands up is what y'all seeing at the rally. What's going on? How are y'all on our side? We're going to jail for child support. We're going to, to, to jail for domestic violence. We're going to court for fucking sexual harassment. This white man is out here killing us every day. White boys are going in schools and killing folks for no fucking reason. TK uh, did a home invasion and get the goddamn death penalty on the table immediately. Charges an adult with no consultation. They put the death penalty on the table for TK immediately. They took it off, but it was on the table. As soon as that white boy killed them 10 folks, there was never no speaking of no goddamn death penalty. Black women, you know that we out here fighting everybody. You can see we getting hit from all angles and you got the nerve. At this point, if a black woman puts a black man on child support in this climate, she should be looked at as a fucking bed witch. She should be looked at as an enemy of the race. If you go to the white man and tell the white man to do something to the black man, I don't give a fuck what the conditions are. If a nigga's beating your ass, then leave him. Call somebody in your community. Leave him. If this nigga has not shown no signs of being a father, I don't give a fuck if he did not wrap up. It is on you because you're gonna be, if you know he not gonna be with you, then you know that you're gonna be the whole house. You know you're gonna have to do it on your own, so knowing that you can't do it on your own, you will not have the child. You can go to the fucking store, get a plan B. You can ask anybody for that money to get a fucking plan B. You know a nigga find any way he can to get you an abortion, a plan B. Do not bring forth life with a nothing ass nigga. If a nigga does not want to be a father, do not force him to be that. And then get mad when he's not a father. He wasn't a father before he fucked you. He not going to be a father afterwards. You cannot force a nigga to grow up. You can't do that. You giving birth does not make him more responsible. It's gonna happen on his own time, just like a fucking drug addict. They're not gonna stop doing it until they get tired of doing that. Oh my God. You can do all the rehab you want, but until they're ready to stop, it's not gonna happen. You cannot force no fucking black man to do nothing like that. You're killing us. When you get a fucking police a reason to step down on us, when you get a fucking police a right to step down on us and they can say, well yeah, he had a child support warrant, so he was running away and he was doing it because he didn't want to go to jail. Stop giving them reasons. At what point we're going to say our enemy is these motherfuckers over here. Let's take everything down. Let's leave every justification that they may have. Let's take that away from them so that we can make it blatantly clear about what's going on. Am I talking dangerous right now? Am I talking about change a little bit? Every one of you bitches that have a nigga on child support, go to the fucking child support office and take him off right now. Oh my God. Take him off of child support right now. He's not paying it no way. Take him off of child support right now. Because when this shit come down, you're not going to be able to fucking fight that white man off of you by yourself. You're going to need a black man. You know right now there is, what's the percentage? What's the ratio between, uh... Uh, men that are alive and not incarcerated. 
The reason why women outnumber us by this much is because we dead in the jail. Whenever a, 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 a government or a tyrant, uh, before they took over a people, a civilization, what they did is disarm them. So they, they uh, so you know that whole shit like uh, give back all your weapons. Having a weapon is is illegal and shit like that. You can't have no weapon. If you have a weapon on you, that's a million years. And then a year later, they take over because then. How the fuck can you fight back? Black women understand. You do not have your black man to protect you. If he's not a fucking drug addict, then he's incarcerated. If he's not incarcerated, then he's dead. If he's not dead, then he's so fucking unhealthy. Because of how he's been working at his job. Not eating right. If we counted the black men that actually are self-made. Don't have a fucking woman over their head that's running them. That are healthy. Don't have warrants. Have no reason to run from the fucking police. Have no disease. And aren't over 50 years old. You can probably count them niggas on your fucking hand. In every city in the United States. Those are the niggas who can fight. So, the niggas who don't have warrants, niggas who aren't, aren't unhealthy, niggas who are battle ready, if they came right now and said, all African Americans have to come to this shelter, how would you fight them off? None of you bitches can handle a weapon. You can't handle no weapon. You have no combat training. You motherfuckers are doing this white man's work and he's giving you these nigga pennies and you don't see how close how close and how close you're getting to going back to slavery because in your mind what they painted to you is slavery is picking cotton in the field Slavery is a overseer with a whip on a horse. Let me let me tell you something, you stupid bitch. Oh my God, the narrow. Them slaves would not leave that fucking plantation out of fear. Them slaves. Work that field out of fucking fear. You only had so many overseers and you had this many slaves. They could have overpowered them at any time, the same way Nat Turner did. They didn't do it out of fear. Let me explain something to you bitches. Fear is not physical. You can't physically touch fear. It's here. I know you saw um, Ike Turner in anime. I turn and said, I'm in here. I'm in here. Why can't you go on vacation right now? Why do you have to ask that white man if you can go somewhere? Out of fear. I don't give a fuck what fear it is. It's out of fear. Why can't you tell that white man, um, I'm going to have my husband back in my house? Because it's out of fear. Because you know if you tell him that you're going to bring a family and have a real strong family in the houses that he gave you, he gonna kick you the fuck out. Why does that white man insist of you not having a man with you? Why don't that white man want you to have a man? What? <laughs> what? Is this not simple? So you screaming and you mad because you single and you saying niggas ain't shit. But you gotta sneak in it, like you gotta sneak me, like how, how the fuck are you grown? You gotta sneak niggas in the house still. How are you grown? You can't have niggas in your house. How the fuck are you grown? Can you hear me? Like, can you hear me? <laughs> fuck this shit.
Fuck this shit. Hey, yo, Conseco, hit the PayPal. I'm out, dog. Fuck this shit, dog. Because you bitches, fuck this shit, dog. I got something for y'all ass. Fuck this shit. I'm out.